No, so, do you think here. sailing is lonely? Over 10 years ago, I sailed through these very same waters of French Polynesia with my brother Brady. And since then, there have been so many different chapters on this adventure. Long passages where we wouldn't see another human for weeks at a time. Endless island hopping missions from one party to the next. Long range exploration to uninhabited islands. Months where we crammed seven sweaty bodies into way too few beds. And starting a family with just the three of us. A life at sea means a life of constant change. Friendships come and go with the wind, and having the ability to live off-grid for months at a time means, well, that we go off-grid for months at a time. So, in this week's episode, we wanted to explore some of the social aspects of sailing and answer the question. So, do you think sailing is lonely? Happy birthday to you. Oh, yay. yay! Happy birthday! Thank you! What do you want for breakfast? Waffles! Waffles? Waffles! Yay! Waffles! Cake for breakfast? Yeah. Waffles. 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 Waffles it is. <laughs> Splat! <laughs> oh no, Sierra! You got cream everywhere. Bacon and cream? Ooh, that's a happy birthday. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah? Are oh, you wow. happy? That's good. Are you a happy birthday girl? Mm-hmm. Oh, Thank you, you. You didn't even put syrup on yet. Mm-mm. Mm, okay. The day is starting out right. And what else do we have planned today? We're going to go to our friend's boat. Mm-hmm. So the cruiser version of a block party is a floaty party. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to drink margaritas and we're going to eat tacos. Hopefully it's not going to be too windy. That's it. <laughs> Are you helping me do the cake? Yeah. Mom! Can you help me finish putting the icing on? Put it on the side like that. Oh! Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you, Sierra. And I'll put the flag back in there. Ta-da! Oops. <laughs> Yay! Okay, lick it off, lick it off. That's the best thing about making a cake. Ooh, is that good? Keeping in mind today's birthday theme, which is Mexican and we're French Polynesia. We're actually gonna do humble mousse margaritas, which is really good. So we're doing uh, two parts of tequila, one part triple sec, one part lime juice, and one part, actually maybe two parts pompel mousse. Otherwise it's like crazy. And then I'm putting them in the bottles for easy transport. Yo! <laughs> That's a lot of alcohol in them. <laughs> Pretty potent. Huh? Guest of honor has arrived. One, Sierra coming up. Margarita time. Dante, cheers, guys. Happy mommy. Thank you. Do you want to help me open it? One, two, three. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays. Happy holidays. <laughs> it's been an amazing year, guys. Right? And to celebrate, we're yeah. having a huge Black Friday sale on our shop. Yeah. So you can find everything at svidalos.com forward slash shop. We got a lot of things. Yeah, we got <laughs> everything is on sale. We got rash guards on sale, both the hooded ones and the normal ones. We have yeah. towels, we have cups, we have koozies, we have Delos tribe flags, and we even have a few of the framed sail pieces. Very few yep. are gonna be gone soon. But uh, yeah, lots of good stuff and 20 to 30% off. So a massive sale going on to celebrate the year. It's been a heck of a year. Yeah. yeah. Happy 2023 to everybody and uh, holidays, spending time with your friends and your family. And, and we're here's 2024. So much love to you guys. And can you say bye, Sierra? Bye. Back, back to the show. Visit svdellas.com forward slash shop. Woo! Oh. <laughs> a lot of obstacles. I don't like heights. That's why you're gonna jump. I might need more margarita for this one. There you go. <laughs> Look how good your husband is. He just brought you more margaritas. Liquid spray. This will meet. This will meet you at the bottom. He's like moving his shit. Ah, go, 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 go,
got it! Whoa! Whoa! Yay! She did it. Whoa, this is pretty high. <laughs> Backflip. Oh! Birthday girl delivery. Thank you. Hi, Siri. Hi. Are you having fun? How was your hangover this morning? <laughs> Pretty brutal, but I'll live. We had a little bit of a party yesterday. Yeah, it was an amazing day. Like, what a special thing to be able to have so many friends that could join for my birthday. It was I know. awesome. It's great. And yeah. right, it's great until uh, Sierra wakes you up at like 6 30 in the morning, like yeah. bing, and she has absolutely <laughs> zero. Uh, <laughs> Concept of, concept of like you need to sleep in after a party. <laughs> Did um, you wake up early? Yeah. 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 You know, most people move on and sail to New Zealand. I was kind of worried that it would just be us left, right? Yeah. And that we would, you know, kind of be lonely. Like, I guess that's the down, downside of like sailing that you never really like. It is. There's no constant, right? Like, yeah, you it's make hard. these incredible, amazing friendships, but then sooner or later, like sailors must sail, and so everybody kind of goes yeah. different ways. And yeah. uh, it just so happens that instead of everybody going different ways here, like everybody came together, yeah, and we met up with all of the friends that we knew from Mexico and new friends that we made here yeah. in French Polynesia, which has been fantastic. Just having. <laughs> friends that we've gotten to know now for a couple of months like that's really really cool yeah and it's kind of rare like I guess it goes in waves like when we were like years ago when we were seven crew members on Delos like we didn't really have the social energy to really get like body bubbles. I was, I was social <laughs> out because can you imagine like seven adults in a small space there was always something going on, somebody wanted to go to the beach, somebody wanted yeah. to watch a movie, somebody play music, and I was just like... Social love for I sure. did not want to go meet more people for anything after yeah. that. But now that it's just us as a family, it's different. I do have like some social cravings. Yeah. What about you? Do you feel lonely? Yeah. A little bit? Talk about your friends. Kiki? Yeah. How about Warren and Erica? Are they your friends? <laughs> They're your favorite friends, huh? Yeah. And how about Peter and Octavia? Are they your friends too? Yeah. Yeah. You have a lot you of friends. You have a lot here. of friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's been super special here to just have this like social. I feel like we've created like a social bubble in Morea where we have people that we've known uh, for a while. It's it's super special. I mean, Peter and Octavia I've known since Seattle. Yeah. Like before I left on this trip. And so yeah. to reconnect with them here of all places after so many years yeah. has been fantastic. Yeah. And I feel like you're probably a little bit more social than I am. Like yeah, I definitely am. I kind of can go without a lot of social interaction for quite a bit, but I feel like you go more stir crazy. I do. I like to go into the beach. I like to have a couple beers. I like to yeah. stay up late doing nonsense and drinking whiskey and stuff with people. And no, so do you think here. sailing is lonely? I would not say that it's lonely. I would say that it's a way easier to meet people in the sailing lifestyle than, yeah. it, than I have found on land. Like when yeah. I lived in my apartment in Stockholm, I didn't know any of my neighbors. Yeah. And I lived there for like a year. Same thing with me in Seattle. I lived in yeah. like my townhouse for like six years and I, and I only talked to people when their garage door went up before they pulled their car in. Yeah. And I feel here, like if it's another boat, like we always go over and say like, hey, how are you guys? Yeah. It's, it's always it is very people. Social. Yeah, it's super social. It's always like I... drinks on the beach or somebody having sundowners on their boat or inviting you over yeah. for dinner or for pizza or something. Yeah. Uh, so I and I, like I love that about it. And I, I think everybody out here has a lot of common interests, yeah. uh, obviously sailing, but also a common view on life. Um, and people have more disposable time than they would at Most home. People. 
most yeah. people because most people out here are out here sailing and the the people that do work uh, like us and the other people making YouTube videos and people working from their boats, yeah. they have flexible hours. And so if you wake up at like, you know, eight in the morning and it's a beautiful day and you decide, hey, let's go swim with sharks and rays this morning, <laughs> then you can actually just do that. And you just kind of push your work a little bit later yeah. in the day. Whereas with a, I think it's, it was harder for me to do that when I had an office job, when I had to like yeah. have meetings and meet with customers or specific time set for things. We have a lot more flexibility um, yeah. And because of that, I think people can just go do random fun things, and it's mm -hmm. cool. Oh, I really time. like that. Yeah. yeah. And we have a lot of other random fun things coming up too. Yeah. Like I'm gonna go and do a little dive tomorrow with the girls. Like Eric, I have organized with one of her friends yeah, to like. I'm gonna watch the nugs. Yeah. Go and mm -hmm. with all the girls in the Anchorage to take a boat out and look at the whales. So. Girls um, day. Girls Day, I'm super stoked about that because it's just... Do you miss having girlfriends? Yes, that's yes. something that I really... I'm not enough for you? Well, it's different, right? It's different. Like, I love chatting with you and we I'm do really, really well, but it's different, right? Yeah, it's definitely different. Um, and I feel like having girlfriends and just doing that stuff with, like, girls in the Anchorage is super cool. It is yeah, cool. You've I got, really like, a little that. girl posse here. Yeah, I wouldn't say that we're lonely. I'd say sometimes we're lonely. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes, but not often. No, especially not here. And when we're lonely, it's by choice because yeah. we tend to go to places where there's no people to get away from everything and just to be ourselves. And then we'll do that for like a few weeks and then we'll be like, okay, now I want social time. And then we can go to an anchorage where there's like a lot of boats and a lot of things going on on the beach and a lot of people that we know. And so then you kind of get the best of both worlds. Yeah, for sure. Which is kind of nice. I love it. Okay. We decided to go with the tour operator so we could leave all the logistics up to the company and just focus on having fun together and swim with the whales. We headed outside the pass into open water and it wasn't long before we found some whales that we could jump in with. So they go down, you can just see that their fins are a little bit of white. Wait for about 15 minutes when they sleep and then they can come up and breathe and then they go down again. If you were wondering, this is the actual audio of the whale singing that I recorded with my GoPro. Whales make noise to communicate, locate food and find each other. But the adult males are also known for singing. The songs themselves are incredibly complex. A number of noises form what are known as phrases, and each phrase can be up to 30 minutes long. The whales repeat the phrase over and over again to make up a song, with the longest known recording lasting an unbelievable 22 hours. Incredibly, these phrases and songs can change as the whales from different parts of the world socialize, creating an acoustic network. The song itself is continually evolving and changing over time as it's passed from one population to the next, and all males are incorporating these changes into their own song as populations come into contact with each other. Hearing isn't a strong enough word to describe what I experienced. You can actually feel the vibrations in your body, and it feels like the sound are completely surrounding you. 
There are a million reasons why humpback whales are so fascinating and awe-inspiring to be near. But this has to be one of the most captivating things about them. And then, in case the life-changing experience of swimming with whales wasn't enough, we were joined by a small pod of dolphins. fantastic day out on the water oh my god i'm so stoked it was amazing we had so many good interactions with the whales and just to be able to be with the girls and have this time for myself was extremely important and i don't know if any of you guys out there can relate to this maybe you can and if you have children maybe even more so um just to have the time to like, the best way I can describe it is like to be my own person, to like have time away from Sierra and Brian, not in a bad way, I love them so much, but just like to just be myself and to feel that I can choose to do things just for myself and that I don't have to like consider Sierra's needs and what she wants and how you know everything that is going around her kind of so it's hard to describe and I don't know if I'm doing a good job but it's extremely important and I feel even for them to do the same thing for Brian to take time you know for himself and for Sierra to do things like when we put her in aqua splash like this daycare center I felt like it really she loved it and I think she probably has the same feelings. And yeah, it's it's super cool. And today was extremely special and I love the girls and they're awesome. And yeah, it was just a really good, good day. So, so much love and I'm feeling very, very happy right now. It's actually a public holiday today, so we've dropped Sierra off at Aqua Splash. And because it's child free day, <laughs> we're gonna do everything that we can't do. <laughs> no, we're gonna go diving because uh, that's really hard with Sierra. You ready? The tanks are full? No, no. Oh no. That one's empty. Oh. Uh... A few moments later. was absolutely littered with turtles everywhere we turned. But after that, we were amazed by something we had never seen before. A grouper and a moray eel hunting together. The two animals have very different hunting styles. Groupers hunt in open water, and morays slither through little cracks and crevices and corner their prey. When they work together, the predators are able to coordinate their hunt so that the moray flushes out prey into the open water for the grouper to eat, and the grouper sends prey darting into little corners of the reef where they're met by the moray. We thought this would be the coolest thing we saw on the dive until the emergence of these guys. The octopus is one of my favorite animals in the ocean, capable of outsmarting most animals under the sea. Shifting shape, texture, and color, these animals seem more in place in the imagination of a science fiction writer than right here in front of our camera lens. 
Because of their master camouflage skills, they can be very difficult to spot, and seeing them out in the open like this is an incredibly rare treat. We were totally mesmerized, and then we couldn't believe our eyes when a second octopus appeared. think they were hunting, but the rest of their behavior together we're really not sure of. Could they have been preparing to mate or just socializing? We're really not sure, but if you have any ideas, please let us know in the comments below. <laughs> Did you miss us? Yeah. You know what we saw? Two octopus and they were swimming around during the day, which is crazy. What's the plural for octopus? Is it two octopuses? Is it octopi? I think it's or two octopuses. octopuses. Yeah? Yeah. I think it's octopi. <laughs> octopi? But I like to put I at the end of everything. Octopi, that was amazing. You never <laughs> see them out during the day. No, there was two of them. We were probably with them for like 20 minutes. At least. My watch went in deco mode. Mommy, I was like, uh-oh, I'm in deco. And they were not, they were not that scared. Like yeah, they, they were came camouflaging. Out, like they were so amazing. I have a question for you. Yes? <laughs> Can you tell me what mommy looks like when she drinks too much wine? Yeah. Can you do it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>